Hey everyone! So if you watched my last video, you know why I've been gone. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it in case you don't like to watch those kind of like update videos. I have um, CFS, which is chronic fatigue syndrome. It just makes me really tired all the time. Um, but I'm really excited to be back to making videos. I'm going to make them regularly. I'm just going to start filming them um, when I have energy and then I will put them up throughout like the week, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I got a couple of requests um, and thank you for those. If you have any more, leave them down below and I will get to them. Just so you know, my nails look kind of crazy in this video. I was kind of experimenting with them the other day and then I haven't had time to do them because I've been dealing with a lot of that stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, this is going to be my February favorites. I hope that you guys like this. I know last month you got a little treat when my favorites time came around. Um, some of you really liked that. Thank you for the good comments. He was so excited to do it and he had a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my favorites. And my favorites are going to be a little bit different this month. There's a couple things in there that wouldn't usually be in my favorites, but I decided to show you my favorite things instead of limiting myself to like what... A beauty guru would show. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have quite a few nail polishes. I have four, which I usually only have like one. So the first nail polish that I've been loving is from the um, Sally Hansen Gems Gem Crush. And this one is Blingtastic. It's this really pretty sparkly blue. And I really liked it in the bottle, but after I put it on my fingernails, I liked it even more. It just gives your fingernails this intense blue ocean color, and I got tons of compliments on it, so I really like that one. The second one that I've been loving is the Essie um, Lux Effects, and this one is in a cut above, and it's just a pink sparkle color. I just think it's such a pretty color. I think it's so beautiful, and it has such a like a pretty tone to it, and I wear it over my next favorite, and my next favorite is Essie's Fiji which is just this really, really light pink. And it just looks gorgeous with this over top of it. So pretty together. So pretty. So I got those two. That Fiji also looks really good with Rainbow Over the Skyly from OPI. Or from Nicole by OPI. So the last favorite that I have for nail polish is What's With The Catitude. And it's by OPI. It's just this really pretty like robin's egg blue. And I just think it's such a pretty, pretty, pretty color. I love it so much. Um, every time I've painted my nails this month, besides this time, it's been with this color, or Essie's Fiji, or Gem Crush. It's been like rotating between those three, and I love them all so much. So those are my nail polish favorites. Then I have um, four lip favorites, and they're all the same thing with their different colors. Um, they are all the Just Bitten by... Um, I think it's uh, Revlon. Revlon makes these. And this one, the first one is in Desire. And it's this pretty light pink color. I would swatch this for you. I swear I would. But I tried it the other day when I first bought them. And it stained my hand for like a couple days. And these are so amazing. If you're looking for a lip stain, you need to get these. These will stay on forever. I wore one of these to work today. I'll show you the one that I wore to work and it just stayed on the whole time. I ate at work, I drank stuff at work, I wiped my face in a hurry, and it stayed on the whole day. So the second one that I got is in Passion, and it looks like this. It's just a little bit darker of a pink than that one. And this one is the one that I wore to work today, and it stayed on the whole time, and I love it. So there's that one. Then I have gothic which is this one gothic looks like this it's just a really nice it's a nice red because it's not an orangey red but it's also not like a really 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 deep red it's just like the perfect red color and i really like it um and then the last one i have is crave and it's like a berry color it reminds me of like a raspberry and i love it so much it's so pretty and I like to wear this when I'm feeling a berry color and I don't want to wear Enduring Berry from L'Oreal, I think. I love this. This is so amazing. And these are from Revlon. You can get these at Walmart. They were $7.88 a piece when I bought them. Um, and they're just, they're really worth it. I love them so much. Okay. 
So I'm gonna continue with the beauty related kind of products. So I'm gonna go to hair and I only have one hair item this month and it is um, curly sexy hair. Looks like that. And I don't even know what the brand is called. I think the brand is called sexy hair. Um, these are so expensive. These are usually like, I think this was supposed to be $15 and this was on clearance at Walmart for $7.99 or $7.50. And I got it, and I curled my hair, and I used it the other day, and I love it so much. It holds amazing. It holds, the hold is amazing. And it really keeps your hair um, really soft, but still holds it really well. And also, it has a pretty good smell to it, which is kind of weird, but it smells, it smells kind of like a sexy smell. And I really, really like this. So if you like this um, kind of like sexy hairline, because I know they have like big sexy hair, um, straight sexy hair, I think. And then this one is curly sexy hair. You should check your Walmart and see if some of them are on clearance. Okay. The next things that I have are body kind of, well, I'll do the face first. The first one is a face related item and it's Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 Foaming Acne Wash. And this one is oil free and it looks like this. This is a new bottle. I went through one already. Um, yeah, I went through it really fast. I love this. I love it so much. It is a foaming wash. It says, um, cleanses skin, treats pimples, and helps prevent future breakouts. This stuff is amazing. It makes your face feel so clean. Um, the other day I was so exhausted because you guys know I just, I just told you about, you know, the syndrome that I have. I was so exhausted. Um, I had gone to work and then I had come home and I did a workout video and I literally just wanted to pass out. Um, so I made my dinner and I come in my room and I'm ready to wipe my make wipe my makeup off with my makeup wipes and I was like, you know what, I really don't feel like it. I just decided to wash my face and see what happened and you know I would clean it up with my makeup wipes and I just dropped it. I dropped something in every video. Okay, so anyways, um, I decided to just wash my face and it got all of my makeup off and my face just felt so clean and I love it so much. So if you guys are having issues with acne and are looking for something new, I would definitely try that out. The next body kind of item I have is the C.O. Bigelow, which you guys saw a couple of items from C.O. Bigelow in my husband's favorites, or not my January favorites. Um, this is Lemon and Pomegranate Cream Body Wash, and it looks like this. And it has 1% um, lemon oil and extract and 1% pomegranate extract. This stuff is amazing. It makes my skin feel so, just so like clean and refreshed and soft. And it also brightens my skin a little bit. I notice that when I wear this, I have like a really glowy kind of effect going on. And I love it so much. So if you have not tried this, I would definitely try it. This runs $12 right now. I know that they're buy two, get one free. So if you want to buy two and get one free, I would go pretty soon. But these are really, really good. And if you like the scent, they do have it in like a body cream and stuff. Okay, so the next kind of, we'll do body mist now. And... Sorry, I keep, I'm not used to being this far back from the camera, so it's kind of strange for me. The first body mist I have is Pink Chiffon, and I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about this on YouTube, but I really love this, and this, um, they just changed their bottles, you guys know that, these are $14, but this is worth it, this smells so good, it smells sugary, but florally, and it's such a pretty scent, it's very girly, and very, like, inviting it's a very inviting scent and I love it so much and you guys do know that I work there um and we did a valentine's day party and we had people vote for their favorite fragrance and I was the person who kind of stood outside the store and sprayed it for people and let them try it out and almost everybody liked it there were a couple people who don't really like sugary scents that didn't like it but most people loved it and I just think it smells so pretty plus the bottle's really cute look at the little flower such cute packaging okay I feel like that's like something you have to say to be a beauty guru, cute packaging. So if you're an aspiring beauty guru, just use the words cute packaging because that will get you far. Okay, so the next thing that I have is a travel size that I just got this today, but I've been smelling it at work every day and thinking about buying the full size. So it's nice that I have the travel um, because I can kind of try it out for a while and see if it's something I want to wear. Um, this is Midnight Pomegranate and it just has a very like, it has a pomegranate scent, but it's very, like, 
flirty and sugary too and I just think it's so pretty I love this so much so if you have not tried this scent because you think it's kind of weird I was like I don't know about pomegranate midnight pomegranate that's kind of weird and I tried it and I loved it so try that out if you haven't um the last scent that I have is pink with a splash and this one is sweet and flirty and I think I hauled this a while ago. Sweet, flirty, so cute. I think the packaging is really cute on this too. And this just makes me feel cute when I wear it. Like when I wear it and I smell myself throughout the day, I feel very cute and fun and girly and flirty. And I love it so, so much. So if you haven't tried out the pink with a splash, you can actually get these at Bath & Body Works. And they are amazing. I do have the lotion too, and I love that too. But I wasn't going to bring them over because kind of pointless okay so the next thing that I have is our two candles and the first candle is um, spring and if you don't like florally rain scents kind of thing you're not gonna like this but I really like the smell of and I did burn this one it has like stuff on it I know but oh, it smells so good it's just it smells like a when it rains in the summertime and there's flowers outside if you just open your window that's what this smells like and it's described as like a dream of walking in a lush garden with tulips in full bloom sweet apple blossoms yellow daisies and daffodils this is amazing if you love like rain showers and just like fresh florally scents this is going to make your room smell so girly and pretty and beautiful this went through my whole house I love it so much and I'm going to buy another one because the candles are two for 20 right now so if you are getting if you want to buy candles I would buy them now and just so all of you Twilight Woods lovers know I wanted to know I wanted you guys to know this because I saw this online the other day online there's a Twilight Woods candle so if you love Twilight Woods, that's a great thing to get. It's a 14.5 ounce. I saw it the other day. I don't, I'm sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's still there. I really want it. I think I'm going to get it, but they do have that. And then they have their new fresh picked line. So if you're really into like fruity scents, like, um, they have raspberry and they have, um, like the fresh kitchen apple that they have for like the soap, they have that. Um, so if you like that kind of stuff. Um, but I really like this. I like the floral line that they have going right now. I thought I was going to like the tropical line more, but I really like the floral line. So moving right along with the floral line, I have another candle and I haven't burned this yet, but it smells amazing. And this is Poppy Sunshine. It's so pretty. Isn't that cute? I love the little poppies on the back. Um, and this is described as a luscious burst of red poppies on a sunny day with sparkling lemon, sweet red raspberry and touch of white musk. It's a very pretty candle, too. I like that it's red. It's like a reddy with a little bit of pink in it. It just smells so relaxing. When The floral scents really relax me because they remind me of summer and just laying around in the summer with the window open, and I just love them so much. So if you haven't tried out those, go ahead. I would try them out. Um, I do have one more favorite candle, and I completely forgot that it's burning. I don't even know if you can see it. It's back there burning, if you can see it. And it's Frosted Cupcake. Um, we just got that one in two, and it smells so good. It smells like a Frosted Cupcake. I love it so much. So I got that one too. Um, okay, so these favorites are going to get a little bit different because these are things that I don't usually show in favorites videos. So the next favorite that I have is actually a piece of jewelry, and it is costume jewelry, um, but I've just really been loving this thing. And it is this bracelet. It looks like this. And it has like these little black beads on it and then these little like balls like with silver balls with cutouts and then these really sparkly crystally kind of ones and this is from Jacqueline Smith from Walmart or from Kmart and I actually got this um, a couple days ago it was $2.99 on clearance and I really really liked it so I decided to pick it up and I love it I wore it to work today and it was so pretty and it like jingled a little bit when I walked and it was so cute I got a lot of compliments on that um, the next thing that I have is something interesting that I don't know if everyone knows that they have a Bath & Body Works. I never saw these before until I really looked. Um, this, and I work there, so that's saying a lot. Um, this is from the Sleep line, and I know a lot of you know about the aromatherapy. This one is from Sleep, and not that I need any help sleeping, but this is Lavender Chamomile Pillow Mist. So it looks like this. It's just this cute little bottle. And basically you take this before you go to bed or when you wake up in the morning and make your bed and you spray this on your pillow. Take the little thingy off. 
you spray it on your pillow and you just it just is so relaxing the scent makes me so relaxed and puts me right to bed and I love it so if you have not tried one of these they do have this in stress relief too and they have um, lavender vanilla if you don't like the lavender chamomile but the vanilla one makes me hungry so I don't want that one um, but I like that I think that it's a really good product and it really puts me to sleep the next thing that I have is very different and it is my little post-it holder um, if you look behind me and I will try to get you to see it right there at the top um, corner of my bed you can see that there's post-it notes and the camera's moving okay you can see that there's post-it notes um, I like to post inspirational notes on my wall on my um, bed headboard and just like healthy living quotes or quotes about you know being stronger and just really like inspirational quotes I like to post them back there and this is so cute to have on my bedside table because I can just pull one off right on it and stick it up there and it's adorable like look how cute it is it's finally like a little post-it thing that you can just leave out and it looks cute so I think it's really adorable I got this at Walmart I think it was like eight dollars I really really love this I think it's cute okay so the next thing is a food favorite and it's Thin Mints. You guys know that it's Girl Scout cookie time and you are going to see these in everyone's videos. I love Thin Mints. They're amazing. That's all I'm going to say. If you haven't tried Thin Mints and you like another kind of Girl Scout cookie, shame on you. Try Thin Mints. Okay. Oh, and if you do like another kind, post down below what kind of Girl Scout cookie you like because I've only ever tried Thin Mints. Alright, the next thing is kind of different and I don't think I've ever showed shoes in a video before, but these are my Toms. They are Valentine's Day classics. They have little hearts on them, how cute. And if you don't know what Toms is, I'm pretty sure that most of you do, but some of you won't. So if you don't know what they are, basically every time you buy a pair of these shoes, they give a pair to a child in need and they call it one for one. Um, I bought two pairs, um, other ones would probably be in my favorites, but they didn't fit and I had to send them back and get a different kind because they didn't have my size in that kind. My hair is just keeps, like, one hair keeps falling in my face. Okay, so they didn't have my size in that kind, um, the ones, they were the same size as these, the ones that I ordered, but for some reason the fit was just a little tighter and they were the glitters, so if you do decide to order some and you try to get the glitters, get them a half size bigger because they almost fit but they didn't. So I ordered the cords in Sherry, if you want to know what I ordered. Um, and I will try to show them whenever I get them. These shoes, not only do they give a pair to a child in need, and these are my work shoes, so they're a little bit dirty on the bottom, but they're cute. Um, but they're so comfortable. Um, I was getting tons of blisters from wearing baby doll flats to work, and then I started wearing my Toms, and my blisters are gone, and they feel good, and at the end of my shift, I don't feel like I want to just go home and crawl into bed and die <laughs> because my feet hurt so bad. So I love those. My last favorite is a new friend of mine, and I'm going to show him to you because he's a cutie. This is Teacup. Teacup is my pillow pet. I got him for Valentine's Day, and I love him. I take him everywhere with me in my house. Like, if I go in one room, he comes with me, and not, none of my other little, like, cute little stuffed animals that I stick on my bed come with me. Like, I have a little Minnie Mouse, and she doesn't come with me, and I have a little Hello Kitty. Unfortunately, Hello Kitty turned pink because I washed her with my bed sheets that are pink for in here, so I feel bad for her. But you guys know that I have bears that are like me. It's supposed to be like me and my husband, but no, none of them go with me everywhere except for Teacup, and Teacup is a rainbow unicorn. Yeah, she is. He. I think Teacup's a he. I'm not really sure. I haven't asked him yet, but he's like, he's like a rainbow, and he's so soft. He makes me want to sleep. He's so soft and comfy, and I love him so much. So much. He's so cute. Unfortunately, Teacup has a problem where he doesn't often show his eyes. So, we'll have to fix that. My husband got him for me for Valentine's Day, and I love him. Um, so, that is it for, like, physical, visible favorites. Physical, visible. Oh, no, wait. There's one more thing. My favorite thing to do this month has been watching movies from my childhood. I will show you one of them because no one else has seen this movie. Now it's under all my other favorites. I don't know anyone else who's ever seen this movie, and I want to know if any of you have ever seen it. It's called A Simple Wish, and that's what the cover looks like. If you have seen it, you will recognize kind of the cover. 
So that's what it looks like. I love this movie. I used to watch this when I was a kid. It has like the little girl from Matilda in it. And I love it. I think that it's such a cute movie. And if you haven't seen it and you have kids, you should pick this up. It's at Walmart for $5 right now. Um, it's under like where Hop is. There's like a display for Hop in the back by the videos. Hop is a movie with like about, about a bunny or something. Um, and it's back there. And it's only $5 and it's definitely worth it. You guys know I love watching Barbie movies. I really don't have to reiterate that. I just ordered some off of Overstock. Because when I was a nanny and I left Alaska, some of my DVDs, I don't know what happened. They didn't come with me somehow. And I'm sad because I was missing some of my Barbie ones. But I ordered them from Overstock the other day. So, yeah. I also ordered a new OtterBox, which is the case for my iPhone, from Amazon. And... Yep, that's about it. So I'm going to tell you a couple more favorites of mine this month. One of them has been my favorite song. And my favorite song this month has been um, Radio, Radio Hearts. Um, I didn't like it when it first came out, but now I really like it. Actually, they sang it on Glee. And I was like, oh, that actually isn't a bad song. And then I started listening to it, and now it never is, like, not playing on my computer, except for right now, because you wouldn't be able to hear me. So um, I think that's pretty much it. My other food favorite is the salad that I make, and that is in a video down below this one somewhere, um, like over in the side where all my videos are. Um, it was my first cooking video, so if it wasn't that great, I'm sorry. If you have any requests for more cooking videos, let me know. Um, yeah. I will be showing you guys how to make a rainbow cupcake soon, so I'm just going to have to figure out how to edit my videos before I do that, because that one's going to be long if I don't edit it, so... That's about it, and I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to be talking to you again. I love you so much, and I miss you. I just get tired. I'm a sleepy head. Yeah, I get to sleep my head on my pillow pet with my pillow mist and eat Thin Mints and watch this movie.